Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over the count sheet setup. In here, you'll be able to choose which items and case sizes you're going to be counting and tracking. To get to the window, we're going to go under count inventory, and then count sheet setup at the top. It will load a list with all of the active items and preps in Optum Control. At the top, you're going to see these two columns here, track inventory and should count. Track inventory is going to be assigned to each item. And what this checkbox is going to do is if it is checked off, which it will be by default, you're, it's going to track the inventory item. So it'll be on your count sheets and it'll keep a quantity on hand. If you have this unchecked, you will no longer see it on your count sheets and it's not going to keep a quantity on hand for this item. The second column is going to be should count. And this is going to be for each case size. Now, your default case size is always going to show up on your count sheet. And that's going to be indicated by the shopping cart icon. But if you want additional case sizes on your count sheet, you can just check them off with the should count box for the case size that you're wanting to add on. If you no longer want an additional case size, you can just uncheck it and it'll remove it. If you are wanting to update the count sheet to list only your default case sizes, you can click reset at the bottom left. It'll then ask do you want to reset all case sizes to current, click yes, that's going to uncheck all the should count boxes. And this will make it so that only your default case size is going to show up on your count sheet. After you click reset, just click save, and it'll go through the process of saving it so that only your default case size will show up on the count sheet. And that is the count sheet setup window. Thanks for watching.